like walking down, yeah. <laughs> is this them? Yeah, this is them. This is is them. it them? Yeah, oh, 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 yeah, it is. <laughs> hey, guys. So, we are coming from the Galleria. Uh, we went trying to look for an outfit. Tiami was trying to help me look for an outfit for my birthday celebration this Saturday, but I didn't find anything. But we just got to the hospital because Liz had baby Ava. This morning, she went into labor, I think last night, she was having some contractions. Three weeks early. And yeah, she is three weeks early. She would have been, if she would have like, I wish she would have had the baby yesterday, then it would have been the same Your birthday. birthday but uh, no, she came this morning, so we're gonna introduce you to baby Ava. Kelvin, how does it feel to be a daddy? It feels awesome. <gasps> Look at the baby you got me. She's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <sighs> She's a little Asian. Asian. Well, I guess you can't come dance with me on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I move. Like, oh, I have stitches down there. Oh, no. I was, oh, that was my next question. Did they have Not all. I know. It is so humid here, you guys. We're still getting used to the humidity. When I come out of my glasses, it's like woof. And then my camera lens gets so foggy like right away, but we are currently on our way to go find some new like places So I need to get my nails done and I need to go somewhere. I don't know where I'm gonna go I think I'm just gonna go to a random spot Um, cuz Chris is going to go get a haircut. I'm gonna go get a haircut So I was just telling you that for a guy I think that's the riskiest thing that we do is finding a new barber Because this guy is going to have the ability to make me look fresh as fuck for making me look shitty as hell for the next two weeks. So. Yeah, so he was just saying that he's like, honestly, I think that's like the toughest thing for a dude, like finding a new barber because, like, you know, they just have your looks in their hands, and that's very true. I mean, same for females with haircuts and stuff, but at least yeah, but that's you know, like once every two months. Yeah, like you don't really need to worry about it that much if you if you know, like, no, I don't think any girl like on pur purposely is gonna make you look bad but you know I don't think so for guys but it's just any little thing you know it's different for guys but I'm gonna go get my nails done hopefully I find a good place like you guys know these are my actual nails I'm just got the gel over the, the acrylic and then the gel over them so that they don't break but they're too long right now so I kind of want to sh shorten them up a little bit and change the color because I didn't end up liking this color and then do my toes but yeah so we're gonna go find new places
chicken out. <laughs> Don't forget to... <laughs> Monday. Just got back from doing some fasted cardio. I've been trying to do some fasted cardio because I feel like that's one of the ways that I give back into my routine. So I've been doing about 30, 40 minutes of morning cardio every, I've been doing it every um, day for the past like four days, except for yesterday. I didn't do yesterday. But I've um, been doing that to just kind of start off my morning and then um, we are Four days away from Olympia. I'll be heading out to Olympia on Friday. Um, I was just talking about it on Instagram how usually around this time I'm completely stressed about having the perfect pool party body and just really focusing on my body for Olympia and this time with the move and everything. One, I haven't really had time and it's been kind of nice not stressing over my body because for one, I'm just stressed during the entire two months before Olympia. And then two, I'm always, most of the time, not happy with how my body looks at Olympia, especially during the pool parties. I'm always comparing myself to other girls. I'm just like, you know what? I'm not going to work that hard again and just look at myself negatively every time I go to this pool party. So I'm like, I'm not going to stress. I'm just going to live my life, balance my lifestyle right now. There's no point of stressing with the move. Just kind of live day by day, enjoy, work out, eat healthy as much as I can while I can because you guys know when then you're moving, it's really, really hard. Um, but... I've been doing that and is my physique, do I have like abs right now? No. Um, do I think I have the best physique I've ever had? No. Um, but you know what? I'm just going to embrace it. Probably going to wear a one piece bikini suit. That way I'll feel a little bit more confident. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to embrace it and do what I can this week to just kind of get rid of some water waves, stuff like that, which will just be like drinking more water and just kind of cleaning up my diet a little bit more. But besides that, I'm not going to do hours of cardio. I'm not going to be at the gym for four hours and no, not eat carbs. No, I'm not doing that I'm not getting that crazy because what will only happen is I'll come back and binge eat and it'll end up being worse so it's gonna balance my life but one thing that I have started implementing in my day is my cup of my eight ounces of celery juice pure celery juice you guys know that I've been having some problems with my kidneys and the doctors can't find what it is I'm to the point of going to a holistic doctor or an acupuncture um, because the doctors just can't seem to find out what's going on and I'm in pain and it's not that I'm making this up. It's like I'm in pain every day. I'm hurting every day. Um, I can drink water, do whatever, but I'm com always bloated and I'm in pain. So um, I'm just trying to do as much as I can to help that. And I've gotten a lot of recommendations on celery juice. I took um, some, I drank some celery juice last week that Yami made me, and honestly, it made me feel so good the rest of the day. So I'm just gonna start that up. I was kind of gonna wait till I ordered a juicer, um, but girls do it on a blender, so I'm just gonna do it on a blender. Obviously, it's a little bit more work because you have to blend it and you gotta uh, strain it. But I started doing it yesterday, and I'm gonna try it out and see how I feel, I'll let you guys know. You're supposed to drink it 15 minutes before you eat anything. So first thing in the morning, drink it, then wait to eat. So I'm gonna do it now after my fasted cardio, but if you don't do fasted cardio, I recommend first thing you do after you brush your teeth is drink that celery juice. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. Well, I'm gonna tell you guys how I make it because I made it yesterday, I made a bigger patch. So, so I ended up putting it, I ended up putting it in a vase because I don't have anything else. Like, so you can see right here, it's kind of separated. So I'm just gonna mix it up really quick. So yesterday I put it in my blender. So I literally just blended it with water. I, for every three stalks of celery, I put one cup of water. So I did about, I did three, six, nine, 12 stalks of celery and that's how well I drank some yesterday but that's how much came out so I'm gonna make it I think every two three days I'm, I don't want to leave it for like a whole week but every two three days this is what I'm gonna do just kind of make it and do it until I can buy a juicer so this is about eight ounces guys um, like I said it's literally just water celery you can add a couple other things if you want but I added yesterday just a little bit of a green apple to this just to give it a taste but to be honest 
it didn't really, I couldn't really taste the apple. So I'm just going to do strict celery juice. Obviously, the taste is not amazing, but for me, it's not about the taste. It's about feeling better and getting those nutrients that my body needs. So it just tastes like celery, like if you were eating celery. Not that bad. Just chug it down. I'm going to chug this down. This is about 8 ounces, and then I'm going to wait 15 minutes to eat my first meal. Hermes. How you like in your new place? You like your new house? Has Daddy fed you? No. Daddy has not look at his eyes. No, he has not. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. So first meal of the day, you guys, is three pieces of turkey, ba turkey bacon and a cup and a half of egg whites. So about 25 grams of protein here. Hi, guys. It is currently 11 o'clock at night right now. Fat, bro. Um, we just got back from the gym not too long ago, ate some steak. Um, today I went and got my lashes done. Um, this is what they look like. They are a little too long for my liking. Um, definitely lesson learned. Um, some are still kind of falling out. This is the first time I ever get lash extensions. Um, I like the fact that they're full. But I don't like the fact that I got them a little too long for my liking. So I'm just going to have to deal with this for a little while until I go and get a fill-in and probably get them like, to get them to taper from narrow, like smaller to longer ones. So shorter to longer. But we are currently doing some laundry. I've got to show you guys the room. Watching some acts. Um, but doing some laundry because Chris leaves tomorrow morning to Cali. Um, he will be flying in to Cali for a few days and meeting me in Vegas on Friday. And then flying back to Cali. No, actually driving back to Cali. And then flying from Cali back to Houston. It was just cheaper flights that way um, rather than him flying with me to Vegas. It was like $700 for him to have the same flight as me. So that was like a no-go. So he's going to leave me for a few days with Hermes. And then I have to find someone to babysit Hermes while I'm gone. I'm usually, you know, I usually have my suegra next door to just like take care of him and now I'm like kind of concerned with him. I like leaving him. It just kind of scares me, but I know he'll be fine. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to close the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Um, you guys know that I have Olympia coming up. Didn't prep for Olympia, which is a first. Um, I know I don't have abs, I don't have the best physique that I've had when I go to Olympia, but I'm gonna work with what I got, right? Be confident in my own skin, right? And just live with it, you know? I'm on my period, so thankfully I got it before I left to Vegas, so hopefully by the time I get there, it'll be completely gone, and yeah. So I'll see you guys in Vegas. Um, it's the first time we're doing a pop-up shop with the ghost team, so no expo, so it'll be different. Um, I'm gonna record the whole thing for you guys, so yeah, I will see you guys there. Bye.